Hi everyone, I'm Fiona Forbes and today I'm at Advanced Intelligence Systems to learn a little bit about what they do with the CEO, Afshin Dues. Afshin, tell us about AIS. Thanks, Fiona. Advanced Intelligence Systems is a practical autonomous robotics company. We've created autonomous robotic platforms with software and different modules that can handle different tasks. And we look at different industries, we look for labor shortages and where people want to automate because they just don't have access to enough labor. And we take those tasks, we build the intellectual property around those processes, and then we create modules that can be used on our robots to automate those tasks. Some people are afraid about robots taking away jobs. What yes. industries and what people are these robots replacing or are they replacing people? Okay. Um, we wanted to make sure that we help businesses grow and we wanted to make sure that we are not there to eliminate people from their jobs. So we chose to get into businesses where they have a hard time filling open positions. And we attended uh, a trade show called Cultivate uh, in Ohio, which is the biggest horticulture trade show. And the first thing you see when you walk in is, uh, do you have a tough time finding labor? And so the lack of availability of labor is causing a lot of businesses to shrink and is making them not feasible. So we are trying to automate all those tasks that will allow these businesses to grow and not struggle because they just can't find enough labor. And here in British Columbia, you've got a lot of support behind you for what you're doing? Yes, we do. Uh, in British Columbia, there are a lot of uh, growers and farmers who have a hard time finding labor and uh, they bring labor from abroad. Uh, and it's extremely expensive, time consuming, and uh, it's just not feasible at times. So the government has been very kind to us, the federal and the BC government. We've been receiving a lot of grants and support from them to develop these solutions for BC farmers. Of course, we're in BC, we're talking about farming, we're talking about plants. <laughs> yes. How does this apply to the marijuana industry, or does it? Well, we have not engaged with the marijuana industry yet, uh, but we have developed patents around certain processes for the automation of tasks in, in the marijuana industry. Uh, but uh, that is not something that we are focused on right now, but uh, we would welcome people who would want to discuss um, uh, their processes and see if we can help them in any way possible. Now we have a robot called uh, Big Top behind yes. us. Uh, tell us what Big Top does. Big Top uh, has been uh, created in order to pick and place and space plant pots in a nursery or uh, a greenhouse environment. And what else can Big Top do? Well, we've created other modules for Big Top. Uh, Big Top is actually a platform and softwares and a few different modules. So the next module that uh, will be used on Big Top is a pruning module, where Big Top can pick up plant pots, prune them, and put them down. We've also created a SCARA arm module for Big Top, which will allow Big Top to pick up plants from within, uh, you know, a shelf or an elevated area rather than from the ground. Another concern for people when it comes to robots immediately is safety. What yes. kind of safety uh, do you have implemented for robots like this? Well, uh, Big Top uh, communicates with us and everything it does. So it can be stopped remotely by an end user or by us at any time. And in the field, it has a hard stop uh, button where you can just press it and it stops. But besides that, Big Top is able to detect uh, obstacles and if needed to stop working in order to avoid those obstacles. And say I have Big Top, I'm in my greenhouse, uh, what do I do? Is, do I use an app? How does it work? Yeah. Uh, so Big Top is very intuitive and uh, it uh, needs very little guidance. It has a feature called Follow Me, so if you want to take Big Top from point A to point B, you just tell it to follow you through an app and it follows you to where it needs to go. And then you have cones that you put in the uh, perimeter of where you want the Big Top to work. Big Top scans the area on itself and then you tell Big Top, I want to place these plant pods within certain distance and with this kind of formation. And once you do that, you tell it to get to work and you walk away and it does everything by itself. When it finishes work, it sends you a text and says, I'm done, come assign new work to me. 
Will it do my dishes? <laughs> <laughs> Sometime in the future, maybe. <laughs> Probably will, Ashton. Thank you so much. If you want to find out more about AIS, you can just go to their website. Thank you again. Thank you.